materials you need are these. These three origami papers and down here the small origami papers are for male doll. And this side, these lighter color origamis are for female doll. And this is just a white construction sheet and a pen, glue, and scissors. And if you can see, this is the black for hair. So origami also. Now let's start with the face. Uh, we will use this construction paper for the face of both female and male dolls. And here is how it should look like. And we will cut out into this shape, two of them. And uh, measurements are both the same size for female and male. And um, the kind of like light bulb shape. And there is a handle underneath. And from top to the, all the way bottom is about 7 centimeters long. And from side to side is 2.5 centimeters long. I mean long. Sorry. 2.5 centimeters long. Now here, let's cut these two out. Now there are two, one for female, one for male. Now we will make a female doll first. So let's take this away and just one. All right, I have three 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters origami papers. And this is quarter of this size, which is 7.5 by 7.5 centimeters measurement and then I have one two three now just leave these bigger ones to the side and we will start with the small ones now let's see which one do I want orange pink yellow yeah this will work now here fold into half like this Okay, leave it to the side. Now, second one. The same way, fold it into half. And leave it to the side. And fold into half. Alright, now leave it to the side. Now, where you have a crease, you can see crease right here, right? Now, we will cut. like this and basically you do the same to other two okay now here now pick up one and fold into half again now do the same to the second one and the third one fold into half there you go now you Pick the head and start with whichever you want to start, but I will start with this one. Now place this place this one, place the head right in the middle of one of the pieces. And we're gonna make the color. So fold like this. 
on the side, just like this. As you can see, there is no right or wrong, so just like this, okay? Now, after that, open it up, and then let's apply some glue, just a little bit so that this will hold the head. And let's go back. Head right here and let's see. Okay, and like this. Okay. Now we will do the second one. Pick up one and kind of slide it down a little bit from the first layer. I mean first layer, yeah. Because you want to see really layers of these three colors so now here you do the same fold it and fold it like this okay now go back and apply some glue here and let's see put it back Now two layers, and the last one, the same way, just slide a little bit lower than the yellow, the second layer, and fold, like this, and like this, so that you can see three layers, right? Now after this, make good crease, and same way, apply some glue on the back and let's go back here and hopefully this will yep. there you go now there are three, three layers, right? alright now let's apply some glue here the front so that this all will hold it together just like this. Now we finished this part and we are going to make the main kimono part. Now you have 15 by 15 centimeters origami. One, two, three. All these are same measurements and this will come very outside because it's fancy paper you can use um the wrapping paper for this if you would like and then you can have two solid or you can also have two, three solids and you can make patterns after that with markers or something for the last one it's up to you anyway now what we will do is to make a layer like this for the bigger part we will cut these two papers this is the very outside and this is the middle and the very inner one will leave 15 by 15 centimeters now what you will do is this fancy paper very outside one you cut off two centimeter off from the height and the width so it will be 13 centimeters by 13 centimeters origami paper so just measure this and cut nicely You can discard this part and middle one is cut off one centimeters. Alright. So what's gonna happen? Sorry. What's gonna happen is you will see this goes over this. And this goes over this. Now you can see all three layers. So this is what we want. So outside, middle, and inside. Now what we will do 
is just try to kind of line them like this so that you can see all three layers from all sides okay now hold it and make a triangle okay now you can adjust here too so don't worry about too much just need you need to fold into triangle nicely match the corners and now low take like this and I would recommend fold it into a little bit half and here if you make a crease then you will know what's where's the center right here now put the head of the princess right in the middle okay like this can you see if the color is about to touch the same line as this top of this triangle make sure that and and you okay you fold down almost like matching here this edge matching to the bottom okay and the other side too just go down like this to match and then you look like this this look like this but after you folding let's adjust a little bit this side as if these two kind of overwrap this one and this side and this i mean this part and this part they kind of overwrap like this let's see maybe you can adjust a little bit like this yep can you see a little bit over over wrap like right here yep and then what you will do is from about here you fold this this up like this so here that from the corner to the center It's a bit difficult when you have layers of origami paper. It's very thick. And do the other side. Your finger in the pocket and match this line on to this line. Like this. And ta da! The kimono part is ready. Before we go on to the hair, I forgot to mention, but you can glue. To hold these origamis together first you can apply glue a little bit here so that it will stay right like this and then after that let's do here glue and hold it a little bit and then this the other side apply the glue and like this if you would like you can also glue here and here all the layers attached and if you don't like here you can also glue wherever you would like as long as that's that part now um i forgot but that you need to flip it over and you need to fold this the bottom part up a little bit and then there there you can also glue here just a little bit i don't know if you want to do that inside like this so they all stuck together in one piece now the hair part here it's 15 by 15 centimeters 
Now we will try to... let's do... Birds. Okay, so we will make a crease here and then here. Try to make it birds. So when you do that, kind of... I think all Japanese people, they try to mark one third part like this. And then see the other one. The other thirds. Which is not really thirds. So, what? Too short. So we'll go back a little bit down. And let's see this one more like thirds. Nope. Maybe thirds. Maybe that's too much. Oh, well, I guess. Will work this way. Now, back like this. Yep. So, make it thirds. One third, two thirds, three thirds. So now, and you will fold into half. Like this. Okay, now we will use only two of these pieces. So, let's see. Right. Like this. And then cut into half again. Like this. And, yep. Now, let's put these together and fold into half. Okay. Now, we will cut um, like this. Let's see. this cut okay now take these two apart and this will become like this but the first one I mean just to pick one of these and we will make cut a little bit Like this. So I made a cut like this and then get rid of this part. So it looks like this. Now what you will do is put the head in. Oh, it's not quite. So you need to make a longer cut. Maybe this one will work. Now like Like this. There you go. Yep. Now you need to glue these together. You need to glue these together and on the back after you insert the head like this. And then you need to glue back here like this. up to you how far you want to go down yep. like, like this and then on the back you glue and you know. right did it work I have a 
camera in between me and I want to be papers so I can't really see. All right, there we go. Like this. If you didn't like where it didn't match, then you can trim it a little bit. And yeah, I'm gonna back to. But anyway, this is it. And you just need to write eyes and mouth. And I will prepare a little bit of little cute hat for her. But this is how we make the female doll. Okay, now male part, male doll is ready. Now what you need to do is you need to prepare his head. All right, do you remember we cut um, into, I mean, we folded into thirds and half and one third of this part we used for um, the female doll. Now we are going to use this for the male doll too. Now, um, I think just one is fine. So just the one part of six, one six of origami. Let's try it. Now, what you will do is, I think, yep. Um, can you see here his head? So we will fold this from here to here, like this, okay? To be cheap. So you can hold like this and then from head to the, the other side of the head and the rest you fold like this. Okay? So let's see how this will work. So like this. So his hand we use from here to here and the rest is we will use for the other part. So now after this you can cut on the line. All right? Now looks like this. Now what I think is fold into half and make sure it's really matched. And um let's do this. You can apply glue to this side and the other side and then you can paste like this, maybe this far and then this side too, like this, like this and yeah, you can see through here. I mean, there is a hole here. But and then after that, can you see there is a head? It's a carb, right? You need to cut that carb. I think like this. Oh, it came out. Anyway, like this. Kind of like this. Like this. Okay. It's not exactly on the card, but around the card. And then, if you didn't apply enough glue, um, you can apply right now here. Oop. It came out. I was debating if we should I just make this black part first and then attach it from front and back. But either way, as long as your hair looks like it looks like this is fine, like this, and I. I noticed that I didn't glue this part onto the kimono. So maybe, maybe I can do it. Oh, this side is not really glued. So like this, like this. Alright. Not it. Let's cut it. Alright, after this. Now, you remember this part, right? You still have it. Now, you fold into half. And... Glue. And after this... 
you will cut kind of like the baseball bat. So it's not like the humble part of the baseball bat, but above the humble part. I hope that makes you some sense. But and what you need to do is like this. So you just need to let's see how far. Let's see, maybe like two and a half centimeters from here to here, two centimeter, two and a half centimeters long. Yeah, if you kind of do this, yeah, I think this is good. So from here to the top is two and a half centimeters. Two centimeters is fine too, but it needs to go up. Actually, let me cut this part because it looks. I don't know actually how it looks on the back. Anyway, so just stick glue here and then apply it like so. Yep, like this. So this is the hair of the male doll. Male do. So, and then this is the female. So female and male. And now this is not done yet. I need to make other stuff. And I was thinking which origami papers I need to use, but I think I will use the ones that we didn't use. Maybe these. I'm going to make a fan, a little fan for um, the female doll. Now, this is 7.5 centimeters by 7.5 centimeters, the quarter size of regular origami paper. This is the gold one. Now I fold it into half and again into half and now square, four squares. Now I will cut just one of these. Remember this origami paper is 7.5 by 7.5. Now here, what I'm gonna do is, let's do this way. So if I'm going to cut like this carb, okay, like carb and like this, okay. Now after this, I will just fold this side, flip it over and then fold here, that point right in the point center and just fold a little bit like this you don't have to worry about the measurement just like this and then after this you flip it over and then same part that you just folded fold back okay like this and just flip flip it over did the same just the part you just folded just flip it over and uh, Hold it and then flip it over and the same part. Fold it and then fold it. Yep, like this. And then after it finished, just like this, like this. Okay? And then this is done. Like this. the fan gold fan okay now you can apply the glue on the back and just like this now i'm going to make now i'm going to make female doll i mean male dolls um, wooden board called the shaku and uh, it's basically stick right in the middle so what i will do is um Let's fold a little bit, maybe like this is a centimeter, like this. Oh, this is by the way, 7.5 and 7.5, and this is about centimeter, and I'm going to cut here, okay? Now cut like this, and then glue inside. Okay, and fold it back so that it will stick together. Now basically it's wooden board 
and if you remember how I made here I will make just like that and kind of the tip kind of carve it like car oh I don't know one carve like this oh, there is a carve now I will just cut a bit side off like this and the point is you don't make that both side lines parallel kind of like this yeah you can um check online about japanese shaku and it will have an um, explanation for it it's just a wooden board looks like this and kind of let's see how long you want it's supposed to be like this it's not this long it's like this like this so that's it so you glue on the back and just piece it so that the oh. I haven't pasted it yet no, it looks like this so female doll has um fan golden fan and uh male dolls will have this shaku the wooden stick or board and you just need to draw the face the mouth and that's it and if you want to use some fancy background you can use the colorful construction paper and you can also fold some cherry blossoms not cherry blossoms the 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 flowers it's peach flowers i forgot i'm sorry it's peach flowers on the back Anyway, I will update um, how to make the peach. Very easy peach flowers, so you can paste on the back. Thank you for watching.